So Japanese people, just as a people, are they tend to be very gracious. They're very polite, very kind. I never really felt, I guess, like bullied or or disliked. People, even if they're not interested in the church, are very polite and very kind. Um, they're very soft spoken and and mm, just easy going, I guess. I remember coming back to the states and in the airport there was. Some, some of the airport workers were kind of like yelling back and forth to each other and they just sounded really angry and I think it's because I was so used to, to Japanese people who are always so polite and so so soft-spoken when speaking to each other um, and I, that translates very w much so into the to the etiquette um, there's a lot of of rules and a lot of things that are very important to do to show respect for one another and to to kind of show your gratitude for for people that you know and people that you don't know um, for example whenever you meet someone you typically bow um, and you use polite Japanese like even in the language you can see that there's there's a lot of emphasis on showing respect and showing kind of honor for the people that you're interacting with as far as just day-to-day -day etiquette things go um, <coughs> So when you enter homes, you always take your shoes off. It would be very rude to enter a home with no shoes, or with shoes on, sorry. Yeah, so you always want to show respect for your seniors, for for the father of a home, or for your, your bishop, or your leaders at church. Um, and you do that by just deferring to their opinions, or if you're at someone's home for, for food, for example, you, you wait to, see, to sit until they've sat, or until you've been invited to sit. <laughs> And even then, you, you're kind of, it's always apologetic, I guess. Um, there's polite ways to sit on the floor, even. You're supposed to sit, like, on your knees, like, kneeling down until they invite you to relax, and then you can sit cross-legged. The nice thing about being an American or a foreigner going to Japan is that they're very forgiving. So if you don't know how to use your chopsticks in the correct way, or if you, if you miss one of the major rules of etiquette they often will just laugh it off and be like oh it's because you're not Japanese and so that was nice that you kind of had that that kind of get out of jail free card but but when you do treat people with respect and follow their customs and their rules it was amazing to me the difference that it made they were they were very receptive and and much more open when you followed their customs um, so another thing about Japanese people is they're very hardworking. I remember just being amazed at the hours that they worked at their jobs. We would try to meet with members to help them kind of share the gospel with their friends. And at first I thought they were just kind of making excuses because they didn't want to meet with us, both investigators and members. But the more you talk to them and the more you get to know their situation, you find out that they really do work from 7 a.m. until 8 at night. And, and yeah, they work really hard at their jobs. They work long hours and they're very dedicated to their families having that like family pride and honor is very important um, and I think that's one reason why kind of showing respect and showing gratitude is so important um, because they're very concerned with how they're portraying themselves and kind of the the image that they give off which I think is something that maybe we could do a lot better with here because I think it's really easy for us to be rude to people or to, to tell someone off when in reality maybe we should just be a little bit more patient or more forgiving so one more thing about the culture that was kind of difficult as a missionary was that most people are very private um, when you approach people on trains there will be a train that's full of people and no one's talking it's just dead silent and so as a missionary, when you talk to people, it, it's kind of uncomfortable for them. Um, and it makes it a little bit more difficult to kind of break down those walls and those barriers. But um, yeah, when you approach people on the streets too, they're kind of very taken aback because that doesn't happen. People don't really talk to strangers or say hello to people that they don't know. And so, yeah, they'll be very surprised when, when we try to talk to them. But it's also really cool because they respect that a lot. You can tell that they they appreciate the friendliness and they, they want to talk and they want to get to know people. It's just a matter of, I guess, shyness or culture. 
And so that was another interesting thing that I found with people that I talked to in Japan. Um, so one kind of trivial difference is Japanese people, they always shower or bathe at night and it's always like a big family event. They'll have the dad and I think in a traditional family they'll have the dad, he'll take the first bath and then the mom and then they'll all like rotate in according to seniority. And so, yeah, so any Japanese companions that I had, they always thought that it was really weird that we showered in the morning. And a lot of times they would kind of like become more accustomed to the missionary culture where you have more time in the morning to get ready. Mm -hmm. But many of the Japanese missionaries would shower at night and not shower in the morning, which I thought was really interesting. It's very different from American customs, even if it is something that's kind of trivial. Another interesting thing is the the sleeping situations. Most people don't have beds. I mean, as, as the times change, it's becoming more common, but it's more common to sleep on futons, which are just like mats that you roll out. Um, so as missionaries, we never had beds. We always slept on those. We would have like one or two kind of padded layers and then a blanket on top and that's how you sleep. The homes in Japan are very, very different from American homes. They're much smaller and they're separated by these sliding doors so that you don't have to take up space with the doors opening and closing. 